Hello there. Further from my video earlier today, some youngsters have been asking, what does multiplication even mean? So ahead of starting my live premiere on Monday, I thought I'd better just put a bit of information here for you. And if you don't want to miss out on Monday's fun, make sure you're subscribed so you get your invitation to come along. And do bring your friends with you. Okay, let's have a look at what multiplication is. Earlier on, we talked about addition and subtraction, and we just checked that you knew what those meant, adding up and taking away. Do yes. you remember? Yeah. So you're used to seeing um, things like this. This might be a problem you're given. Six plus five equals, and you'd be asked to add those two numbers together, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Good. And you'd know how to do that? 11. Yeah. 6 plus 5 would give you 11, wouldn't it? Yeah. Good. And what if it was, let's say, 5 plus 6? 11. It would be just the same. It's the same even if it's swapped. Well done. That's the sort of thing you need to remember. It doesn't matter with addition which way they're round. Uh, 6 plus 5 is going to be the same as 5 plus <laughs> 6. Gives you the same answer, 11 in both cases. Yes. Yeah. Good. Now. That's called an addition problem because you've got that little plus sign in the middle. Yeah. Okay? And if that plus sign was replaced with a minus sign, it changes it from a, an addition problem to a subtraction problem, a taking away problem. So, so if you had six, it would be six take away five instead. Six take away five. How much would that give you? Say that was one. One. Okay. So six take away five would be one. That's subtraction problems and addition problems. When we have multiplication problems, we just change that sign once again. And instead of putting a plus or a minus, we put something that looks like an X. And that means multiply. So we might have a problem like six times five or five times six. And let's see what they mean. Now let's have a look at your hands. How many fingers have you got on this hand? Five. You got five there and how many on this hand? Five. Good. And ten. That's ten fingers in total, is it? That's good. Let's have a look. Mishi, he's got five fingers on this hand and five fingers on that hand as well. And so have I. I've got five fingers on this hand and five fingers on this hand. So let's see. How many hands do we have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done. We've got six hands. And on each of those hands, we have how many fingers? Five each. Okay, so we've got five each. So this would be an example of six times five. We've got six hands, yeah. and each hand has five fingers on it. Yeah. So we've got five fingers mm -hmm. six times over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, if I was to say, can you count up all the fingers? One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Well done. So we've got 30 fingers in all. Six hands with five fingers each. Six times five gives us 30. And that's known as a multiplication problem. Now, what we're going to be learning to do is to find the answer to problems like that without having to count through all of the individual fingers. So let's have a look and see what happens if, instead of doing 6 times 5, yeah. we do 5 times 6. Now, how many legs does an insect have? Six. Yes, you're right. Six legs on an insect. Let's, let's, draw, a little, let's draw a little bug here with six legs. <laughs> have, you, have you ever played Beetle Drive? Oh, no. no. Oh, yes, I have. You have. Lovely. So here we've got five beetles, and each beetle has six legs. 
Yeah. Earlier on, we said we've got six hands, and each hand has five fingers. Yeah. So that was five fingers six times over. Six times five. This time, we've got five beetles, and each one has six legs. So we have six five times, or five times six. Can we count up these beetles' legs, Karen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Thirty. So we came to the exact same number there. Wonderful. Well done. So earlier on we looked at six times five with the six hands and five fingers each, and we found out there were thirty fingers. This time we've done five beetles with six legs each, and found that they've got thirty. Thirty legs. So five times six and six times five both give you the same number. So just like addition. It doesn't matter which way round these problems are presented. If you've got six times five, it's going to be the same as five times six. Okay. Good. That's what multiplication is. It's taking that type of counting and saying, well, if I can know how to deal with the six and the five and somehow join them together to come up with the answer thirty quicker. Than counting up all of those beetles' legs or all of our fingers, if I can find a quicker way to get to the answer, then I've learned how to multiply, and that's what you're learning about on this course.